हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर सब्सक्राइबिंग टू माय यूट्यूब एंड स्पॉटिफाई चैनल एंड दोज आर न्यू टू माय चैनल प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू डोंट मिस आउट ऑन एनी ऑफ द इंटरेस्टिंग पॉडकास्ट एंड आल्सो द संडे गेस्ट इंटरव्यूज सो येस फ्रेंड्स वी ऑल नो दैट द फूड ऑफ आर किड इज़ अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड येस इफ़ यू हैव नॉट हर्ड माई पॉडकास्ट अबाउट द फसी किड्स अबाउट द फूड एंड ऑल्सो अदर फूड हैबिट्स ऑफ द किड्स सो प्लीज डू गो थ्रू दैट पॉडकास्ट एंड दिस वन इज अबाउट स्पेशली द कैल्शियम इंटेक ऑफ आर चाइल्ड so we know calcium is among the most important nutrient which is required for growing kids and as it helps for the formation and development of bones and teeth so it is very important to give a proper diet for a child which has a good amount of calcium in it because even it maintains the bone density and the bone mass during the adolescence so yes friends it is very very important that we keep a track on the nutrient content in the food that we are providing to our child yes it's not just about filling the stomach of the kid but it is about giving the right nutrient and the right amount of quantity for the growing kids so in this podcast i'm going to quickly tell the most important food items that are rich in calcium and at the end i'm going to give some uh, tips and some easy recipes in which you can include some of these items which are very kid friendly yes if the child is very fussy and they are not eating these items so you can use those recipes and create some nice and tasty items for the kid which are attractive as well as healthy so yes just quickly get into the list of items which are rich in calcium so as we know the dairy products are always very very rich in calcium the cow's milk yogurt cheese buttermilk all these but in case nowadays we are hearing this word as lactose intolerant so if the child is lactose intolerant so then you can replace the dairy products the milk by soy milk or almond milk yes so even these are very very good and very rich in calcium next is the fruit orange so orange we always know it is rich in vitamin c but yes it is also rich in calcium as well as potassium and magnesium and then are the green vegetables they are always the storehouse of all the nutrients so the green vegetables the spinach the beans and all other healthy vegetables also we can include for a proper calcium rich diet then are the beans and lentils are dals rajma the kidney beans the chickpeas all these are also very rich in protein as well as calcium and then if you prefer non veg you can eat fish meat and also eggs so again eggs are also very good source of calcium for kids so the amount what you have to provide you have to see if the child is liking it or not and how much the child is able to digest so even that you have to see and according to that you have to provide it to your kid and next is which is less commonly known are the sesam seeds which are also called as til or nuvulu so these sesam seeds are very very super rich in calcium so even if the child is not liking milk you can actually replace milk in the child's diet and uh, you can use these sesam seeds which are also like crunchy if you roast them so this is also a very good uh, option in case if the child is not liking milk and then our king comes that is the ragi yes so the ragi is also very very rich in calcium so yes this was a list of the items which are rich in calcium but now i'll tell you some tips and some easy recipes how to include these in our kids diet so if we come to ragi uh, again i have a podcast uh, which is about all the different different recipes of ragi so out out of i mean which i have not mentioned there one more i'm going to include here is a ragi milkshake yes a ragi milkshake you can obviously make it uh, by just normally uh, boiling the milk and then slowly slowly adding the ragi powder uh, without forming lumps and uh, that you can give but here in this i'm going to tell in which you can also add something like your uh the nuts powder yes you can always keep nuts powder ready like you can dry roast badam pista cashew yes or uh, the sunflower seeds and all dry roast all of these and make it a powder and keep it ready which you can add in anything like a topping or in the milkshakes that you are making fruit milkshakes also you can just add a spoon of this so that along with the tasty tasty uh, milkshake this also goes into the tummy so yes in this ragi milkshake you can take 2 tablespoons of ragi flour 3/4 cup of water and 1 uh, and 1/2 cup of milk and you can add cocoa powder if you have or if you prefer or else you can also replace this with the elaichi powder yes this is nothing but just to give a flavor and taste and then as i said the nuts powder 1 tablespoon of the nuts powder and for the sweet taste you can add the palm sugar or jaggery so 2 2 tablespoons or as per your taste you can add this then yes slowly cook the ragi powder and the water mix in a low flame yes until it becomes very thick and also shiny so in this you can uh, along with uh, the ragi powder while cooking you can add the cocoa powder or else you can avoid that step and then once it is cool you can add all the other ingredients including the milk and just once blended okay in a mixer or a blender so that all the items mix properly and then you can serve this yummy milkshake 
so coming to the next item is uh, the sesam laddu the til laddu that you can make so for this it is very very easy recipe and very very healthy one so you can take one cup of sesam and the half cup of peanuts dry roast both of them separately and grind them and that's it you can just make them laddus and again here the jaggery powder is optional because as it is the peanuts they give a very mild sweet taste so if you want you can add jaggery powder or else even the sweetness from the peanuts is enough for the child to get the sweet taste uh, from these laddus so yes very simple just uh, just dry roast both of these on the medium flame and grind them and just make a tight laddu out of it if you want you can add a little bit of ghee if you're not able to make the laddus but i think there is no i mean uh, it's not that difficult Next is as I said the beans and the lentils. So usually we do make dal uh, or the rajma gravies or the chickpea gravies for uh, the rice or as a side dish for chapati. But then again, some kids do not like these gravies. So for them, what you can do is one you can try as the chickpea salad. Yes, uh, you can add um, I mean boil them and uh, yeah you might be knowing right you have to soak it overnight and then boil at least for five to six hours you have to soak and then boil it and then you can add uh, peanuts in it the roasted peanuts tomatoes onions coriander cucumber grated carrot yes and some salt and some chaat masala and you can give this so this also the kids will like it or else what you can do is you can make a smashed paste out of the nicely boiled beans okay or the uh, chickpeas or any other chole varieties nicely boil them and mash it and then add this paste into the wheat flour for making chapati or paratha yes so these are called as dal parathas so you can even add the normal yellow dal or these all the beans and lentils you can boil them nicely smash them and add it into the wheat flour when you are making the parathas and you can as usual add some uh, salt and jeera or some lightly garam masala also to add a taste another option that you can do with the rajma thing is you have to just soak it overnight okay not just rajma any other beans uh, or any other lentils the chickpeas the black chana or uh, the soya has anything soak it overnight and then without boiling grind them into a paste Yes uh, you can add some uh, jeera and uh, ginger and if you want chili also you can add and grind it into a very nice smooth paste and then you can make chilas or the dosas out of this batter Yes if you want you can add the uh, rice uh, powder rice flour or even the idli batter if you have the dosa idli batter that also you can add little bit like a half uh, half uh, uh, paddle or like the 2 3 spoons of it just for the consistency but actually even this paste this batter is sufficient enough to make nice chilas and dosas Yes so this is another recipe for uh, how to use these beans and uh, the rajmas then coming to another very good source is buttermilk but usually the kids do not like buttermilk because i've seen many kids who do not like curd who do not like buttermilk so for this also what you can do is uh, nicely churn the curd okay and add water how much ever you want nicely churn it that that means there should not be any lumps of curd Ni- nicely churn it add some amount of salt and then a little bit amount of jaljeera powder so this jaljeera masala is available easily in the market so when you add this the taste is super awesome and every kid will like it so it is like the market product again if you want some more masala like the masala buttermilk if you want then you have to make a paste of coriander ginger chili and yeah you can also add jeera and then grind it nicely with a little bit amount of curd maybe two or three spoons of curd you can add and then grind it nicely in a paste and then add it into the prepared buttermilk whatever amount of buttermilk you have prepared so add this paste into it and let it rest for like almost 30 minutes this is just for that the buttermilk will soak in all the masala taste in it and then what you have to do is you have to strain all this though we are putting it in the grinder we are making the paste nicely but still um the chili the ginger the coriander it will have some residue left okay so that will be not that good on tongue so what you have to do is strain it completely and then serve this masala buttermilk so this is also a good option for uh, kids to have buttermilk in their diet and also because this is summer season so please make sure that at least two glasses of buttermilk you are giving daily to your child so that they are well hydrated so yes friends i hope these options are useful for you and you can include these in your child's diet so they are super healthy and fit so i'll be again back with another podcast please do watch my podcast and subscribe to my channel thank you bye